Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable yeah. Ready to go, man, I can go That's right I swear to God that I could drop it, bro yeah. I got a shot and I ain't stopping, bro That's how I know that I'm unstoppable What's up guys, Tyler back, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have a brand new settings, uh, playlist, settings, overall just settings for PC players that are on controller or just controller in general. So there's a lot of settings that you can do if you want to max out your frames per second in the game. Um, and actually, I'm playing on a really good PC and a really good monitor. But my settings are actually all low, that way I get the best FPS and quality that I can get. So we'll go right over here. So on keyboard and mouse, I'm not playing keyboard and mouse, so none of that matters. I have my input switched to controller. I have my field of view at 90, it's the perfect range where I can see everything, but it's not too far out to where my gun feels like it takes forever to zoom in. All these settings are just the normal things. I have the square minimap. Um, so... I just like the square versus the circle, you see a lot more of the map. Uh, I have text check enabled. Um, all of this stuff is just normal stuff. I have my frames per second on it. This is strictly for the PC settings. So for the PC settings, I have full screen. Full screen enables you to be locked into the game. That way you get the best frames. Your computer will actually be more targeted to using the game's um, display rather than trying to run across multiple monitors. I have a four setup monitor uh, computer and so it's locked into this game so if I try to move the mouse off the screen it doesn't. I have to press the home tab. If you're in full screen borderless it means that you can still switch to every app and it's nice if you want to do that but it can tend to make the frames drop lower. Um, my screen refresh rate is 60. My render resolution is 100 and so is my display resolution. I'm playing on a 4K monitor, but I still have this stuff set to 1080 just because my graphics card isn't the best in the world. So it's just a lot easier stream-wise um, when I'm doing everything to get 60 frames per second on my stream and still play like this. So it's like I'm playing on a normal monitor, but it's bigger. Um, aspect ratio is automatic. I don't have... Um, that's supposed to be disabled. I don't have desync um, enabled just because I don't want to be locked into 60 frames when I'm in a game. Um, custom frame rate is enabled, but it doesn't really matter. It just helps to lock what your frames will go to in certain menus. Um, and then as far as my details, I have normal texture resolution, um, low texture filter, low quality for particles i have bullet and impact sprays enabled just because it allows me to see things like if somebody just shot at a door and i walk past it i'll know that someone's there um tessellation i have it disabled it doesn't really matter uh shadow map resolution is off cache spot shadows is off uh cache sun shadows is off partial lighting's low uh ray tracing is disabled this uses a lot of your graphics card and it actually makes the game a little bit laggy when you have it on but you can still see the shadows, it's just not as emphasized. Um, let's see, that's disabled. Screen space, I have it on high. Anti-aliasing, um, I think it is. Aliasing, I have it on uh, SMA A2X. This kind of helps you to see people better on screen. Feel the depth, I have it disabled because I don't like the blur when I zoom in. Uh, film strength is low, I don't really like the grainy look when I'm zoomed in. Motion blur disabled, weapon blur disabled, and film grain is disabled. I just don't like having those things. Um, so I'm going to apply those settings real quick just because I fixed it. My audio, my master volume is set to 45. I have a mix amp and I'm on PC so everything is super loud. So I had to turn it down but it's up to you how you want it. But for the controller settings, um, I have everything set to default. I'm using a scuff uh, elite. So everything is on default. My sensitivity is 1212. That's just what I feel comfortable playing with. You can try 7.7. That's one of the best settings that pro players use. And it's just overall really good. 
um, and then my ADS sensitivity for high and low zoom are both 1.0 and then aim assist is standard um, and so yeah everything is just basically standard um, but that's how it is I'll show you guys really quick on shipment what it looks like as far as the FPS in a private game alright guys so we're in a shipment game so um, I'm just in a private game but as I run around the map you'll see my FPS counter in the top left it's ranging between 95 to 105 frames um, if I stand still and look up it's 128 if I look at just here it's 97 If I look at nothing on the screen it ranges up to about 130 ish um, so the frame rate is really good because it allows you to load more frames per second which means that when you're playing on console you only get 60 frames per second and that's what you're locked in at so when you turn a corner obviously you're gonna see people but not all the frames load right away but when you're playing on PC the frame settings allow you to see things a lot better and a lot easier so on a small map like this while streaming I usually get around 90 to 110 FPS and then on bigger maps like Anya Palace and such um, you'll be able to get about 90 frames that's what I usually get but again it depends on your graphics card but as far as the graphics go that's what I have for PC and then controller settings whether you're on Xbox PC with controller or PlayStation I would highly recommend trying these settings just because uh, they're extremely good if you're playing on a normal controller and you don't have the, a scuff or you can't afford one you can always try playing on um, stick and move stick and move will allow you to um, sprint with a different with one of your bumpers but you'll slide with pushing in the stick rather than having to hold B so with the scuff you can slide the corners while still moving and it's really useful so I would suggest if you have a normal controller again you stick and move but um, yeah so that's some of the best settings that you guys can have I hope you guys enjoyed the video remember if you're new please click that like button click subscribe we're on our way to 1200 1300 subs and I really want to hit that goal and it's only going up from here but if you guys did enjoy today's video remember to drop a thumbs up drop a comment let me know what settings you guys play on and what some of your favorite guns are and I'll be sure to give them a try but I'll see you guys later on stream um, I'm gonna be live most of the night um, and yeah I'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload as well